up guys? I am here at my storage unit. That's basically where all my like brand new toys are stored right now. And as you can see, I just had some Burger King and I got this big box of just some stuff that I've had on display in my room for a while and I just wanted to get rid of and there's a big old King Kong over there. So I'm going to go see what I can dig out. I'm going to see if I can dig out my whole entire brand new toy collection and see if I can kind of just go through it and you know, show it off or whatever. So there's like no room in there. So I guess, uh, I don't know, I'll see what I can do. Okay, so first uh, th th I'm gonna go through some of the recent stuff that I had. So I had this this big, long, like, th they're knockoffs. Like, I don't know what this mold is. This is some sort of Ultra Magnus and it's green. The rest of these are like from other Transformers cartoons. And it, I don't know, I got it at a Kmart and I thought it looked cool so I bought it. And you guys already saw this Kong. This has already been in other videos and stuff. I mean, this is a different one. I bought like three or four of them things. So anyways, I just packed this box and now I'm gonna open it up just so I can show you. <laughs> this one, okay, so we got this little freaking thing. We got all these Godzillas that Walmart has released. I don't have any King Caesars in here because I still have the one from 2013 that came, I think it was 2013. Uh, I got this guy, this is the, uh, the Movie Monster 2014 Godzilla, I actually just got this thing. And, uh, you know, Godzilla 2000, all the, all the guys from the recent Walmart collection. I got a couple knockoffs in here, where's the other one? There's another one in there somewhere, oh it's down there. Got more of these G1 guys that uh, Walmart just released. Oh man, I hate taking this apart. This is so hard to put back together. <laughs> yep, there's all these guys. There's the Bumblebee. Let's see. And I, I got I got this. Uh, these are like Walmart exclusive. Like they're from like the core. They're from Lantern, the same guys who made uh, the Kong Skull Island toys. This is a uh, part of their new Primal Clash line from Walmart and this character looks like Turok and the dinosaur looked cool in the box so I bought it for that reason um, and I'm running out of room already got some Jurassic Park stuff this is the uh, Dr. Ian Malcolm and the um, Ellie Sattler and uh, I got more of these in a different box somewhere um, here's oh this is apparently this is rare so I think I think that's why I bought it this is that Macy character for, or no I bought it because she was probably the coolest part of the movie because she was a I don't want to spoil anything but she was she was a cool part of the movie so yeah there's uh, King Ghidorah got Mecha Godzilla some Star Wars crap yeah I know it's Disney Star I literally bought this as a joke okay that's that's why I have it I won this out of a toy machine at Walmart you know the, the toy claw one so I was pretty proud of that. I got this little baby T-Rex, the Gallimimus, and some Call of Duty toys, because I love Modern Warfare 2. I got Soap, and a Ghost, not a Ghost, Ghost, that's his name. Start putting these back in there, and then so there's, here's the other knockoff, it's like a Nemesis Prime looking thing, that's why I picked it up I think. I got this little uh, Matchbox Jurassic World 2 thing, because I liked that part of the movie. And I'm already losing how I had everything in here. Here's the G1 Devastator from Walmart. That's in there too. I got the NECA Godzilla 2014. And this was the... This is the... Um, what is it? They call it the, the Metals Diecast Optimus. With the G1 design. And then the actual G1 Optimus with fucking dust all over it. Holy shit. Paid $50 for that when that was first released. It's, what, 25 now? <laughs> Okay, I got, oh my goodness, there's so much stuff in here. Ugh. Here's the leader class, Power of the Primes, uh, Optimus Primal, but it's uh, the Optimal Optimus kind of version. I never got another one of these to open. I wanted to open one of these, but I just didn't open it. it. I don't know, I don't know why I didn't open it, actually. I mean, whatever. Here's the G1 Starscream from Walmart. I'm going to put that right back in there, so don't forget where it was. Got the Godzilla bobblehead from NECA, and uh, no, yeah, that's just NECA, and the G1 hot rod, which I took out of the box and flipped it over because they packaged all of them 
backwards for some reason. So, that is everything in this box. Thank God we're done with that. Now I gotta figure out how the hell I got this shit in there now. Okay, there's some shit in here too. Oh, that's awesome. That's so cool. So this looks like it's not all brand new stuff. There is some stuff in here I haven't seen in a while. We got the Avengers Thor Transformer. What do they call these? Transformers mech machines. Oh yeah, these came from my grandma's house, that's why. This is uh, whoa, the fucking Thrilling 30 Sandstorm. I don't even know why I bought this, because I just wanted everything. Fucking Blitzwing here. Yep, those are definitely old. And uh, Springer, too. Yeah, that's what those are. Thrilling 30. And we got the old Turok and King Kong Bubbles. I made a video on this one years ago. I got a Transformers puzzle. What is it? Barricade? Yep, we got Dark of the Moon Barricade. So that's in. That's what's in there. Okay, so in this one, we got this old Star Wars Episode 1, uh, the Comtech Reader, which is. You used to use this to take the old chips off the old uh, Episode 1 figures and it would make sounds and shit. It's really fucking stupid. Uh, anyways, we got these. Uh, Knockoff looking things. The uh, these these always used to come in Easter baskets. This is what I got it from too, from an Easter basket, probably from Kmart before they closed down. And uh, yeah, so there's three of them. Then they transform into robots, and it's cool. So there's that. Uh, this isn't brand new, but this is my Turok figure. <laughs> it's got parts fucking falling out of it. So that's awesome. That's shit. Oh my god, there's so much shit in these fucking boxes! Okay, so, this is that old Turok, like, statue. I have three of these, but I think only two of them are brand new, and only one of them's in a good condition. So there's two right there. I can find a spot to put these things. The rest of this thing is just Turok and Godzilla, I think. So it's all these, all these old guys here, and that's gonna be an absolute cunt putting back in the box. It, oh my god, this is gonna be hard. Yeah, we got all all these guys. We got some. I got different versions of them, like the Fusion series. Let's see here. Put that there. Fusion Mecha Godzilla. All a lot of these boxes are just absolutely bent to hell. Right, here's the Fusion Millennium Godzilla. This looks like the Fusion Mothra here. That's fucking awesome. Tokyo Vinyl, this series went nowhere. They were gonna release a King Ghidorah and like a Minya and all these other kinds, and they only released uh, 2004 Godzilla and Mecha Godzilla. And that's that's all they did with it, I, I think. That's all I fucking saw in the stores. Okay, more Turok shit. What is this? That looks important. Oh no. Uh, I think this came out of one of the Turok boxes. I'm just gonna leave it in the box. Anyways, this is the Primogen with the Triceratops. Oh, yep. Only one of these are brand new. This one's been opened and I lost the missiles years ago. Now, what's funny is I never played these, uh, these, uh, these Turok games. I only played Evolution. I just wanted the toys because I was really into the other Turok games. <laughs> okay, this. Oh. This is definitely where that piece came from. This is the open one. This is definitely the version that has been opened. Where the hell did that piece go? Oh no! You gotta be shitting me. Nope, that piece is out of here. Well, it's from that. This is the open one. I had like three of these things. Dude, what the hell? I just had it. Get the fuck out of here. It's still there. That's going right in that box. Okay, so this has been a video of mine before. Fuck me, the box is already kind of falling apart, but this is an expensive ass Christmas present, I think? What is this? The Razorbite Godzilla? I mean, it's a cool display piece, so I'm glad I have it. Oh, here we got the Carl Fireseed Spinosaurus. 
know nothing about this except that it's a toy that exists and it's from the Turok franchise. And we got the Joshua Fire Seed Raptor, the fucking giant ass raptor with a crack through the thing. Um, there's that. I think, uh, yeah, we got a Star Wars toy and a Marvel toy, uh, Spider Man and Obi Wan. I got this for Christmas years ago, I believe, and I just never opened it because I already had it opened. So I left it like that. And here we got Beast Machine's Rat Trap. Yep. I miss these ones. The old Mega Classes. Okay, fuck. Now I gotta put everything back. Just got this little ass one. I think this came out of my bedroom too. Which means it's all gonna be small shit and it's all... Yep, this this is all Jurassic Park stuff. So this is Alan Grant here. Fucking uh, Robert Muldoon. I, I, I don't even want to name all these. I'm just gonna kind of show them off. I got all, all this Jurassic Park stuff. Damn, I got a lot of Jurassic Park shit. <laughs> okay. Oh, here's some... Uh, I don't know if they're knockoffs, they're just kind of like third party looking things from uh, Dollar Tree here. This is a knockoff because that's Leadfoot. Uh, more of these things. Another one that's a different color. Another different color one, another one. Uh, Starscream knockoff. Got your Family Dollar Optimus. Bumblebee and a Megatron. Yeah, Dollar Tree Spider Man. Family Dollar Starscream. I buy everything, I guess. I'm so stupid. What else is there? Another one of these little things. Another different colored lead foot, different colored star screen. <laughs> and that is, that is it for this box. Okay, this is a good one. This is one of my favorites. Here we go. Here we go. This is gonna be the hardest one to put back together. Possibly. All right. Uh, Universe Suppressor. I remember getting this at Family Dollar. They used to have all these, all these little mini con class. They called it mini con class back at Family Dollar. They had all those things. Ah, oh, damn, dude! All the boxes are getting smushed. Shit. Well, anyways, there's Generations Leadfoot, the Power Core Combiners. What is this? This is a Scout class Depth Charge from Avenge of the Fallen. This whole box is all deluxes, basically, though. I mean, you got Dark of the Moon Bumblebee. This is the Nitro Bumblebee. Got the Walmart Exclusive Optimus. War for Cybertron. The, the true War for Cybertron. Not this bullshit fucking seed shit they got going on. Uh, there's the Megatron. Got your uh, Red Alert. Oh, God. There's going to be no room to put these fucking things. Okay. Generations Warpath, here we go. Fucking, uh, Dark of the Moon area. I gotta look at all of them, I don't remember their fucking names at first sight. Thundercracker. Another Scout class, what is this? This is Backfire. Oh, this, <laughs> what is this? Some sort of, a uh, Ice Pack. Optimus Ice Pack. Uh, oh, this is Huffer, I believe, yep. The Parkour Combiners, I think my dad picked up these things for me. See, I got memories with every single one of these things here. So, this is Stormjet. I found this in the Kmart in Green Bay that no longer exists. Like, this, this thing was old when I found it because Universe is an old ass series. And I just found it hanging there. I don't know how the hell I got so lucky. Here we go, we got Dirge advertising the hub channel that doesn't exist anymore either. Crankcase, the good crankcase mold. We got uh, Thrust. I think this, I got this as a back to school present. I don't remember what grade, but it was 2010, I think, when those came out. This is a repaint of uh, Roadbuster. What do they call it? Track Battle Roadbuster. We got a Star Scream. Top Spin, the repaint, the actual blue Top Spin. Oh, oh my god, we got all these fucking fingerboards. Let me, I'll go through all of them, I, I guess. Is that one? Is that one? Fucking got those from Walgreens, I think. Another Scout class, Dune Runner, Revenge of the Fallen. Oh, Backstop! This is from Family Dollar, I believe. They re-released, re like, different repaints from Cybertron. 
under the Generations artwork, but it doesn't say Generations. All it says is Transformers, but really weird. Okay, what the hell is this? Ice Pick. Power Core Combiner's Ice Pick. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna start putting some of these things back. I'm running out of room. Damn. Okay. Get in there, you cunt. Ain't gonna fit. No. What the hell? How does any of that actually fit? Alright. The special value offer is a two pack with that Bumblebee repaint and a fucking Ratchet repaint. <laughs> This was the first Dark of the Moon toy that was released, I believe. This was the the Commander Optimus. Everybody thought it was some sort of new legend because or Legends class because they didn't know what Commander classes were at first. And now Commander classes are like the big ass jet fire that they're releasing. They're changing everything now, but they're reusing the same names for some reason. So I thought these 3D glasses were gonna be for the movie because this was gonna be the first Transformers movie in 3D. I thought, I think, but it turns out you can just. You could have just went to the website and used it for that. And that's it. So, that's really weird. What is this? We got Robot Heroes. These things were great. I found this at a Big Lots, I think? Something like that. And the box condition isn't perfect, but it's still brand new, and I like that. Okay, so we got Junk Heap, which is the re re repaint slash remold of Retgar, and uh, we got Laserbeak, we got, we got some Jolt right there, and this weird ass fucking, what is this, I think this was a Walmart exclusive, this is Sideswipe, and uh, that is it for this box, whole bunch of deluxes from the 2010 slash 11 era. But, uh, this is a big ass one. Okay. Oh, this is gonna be another difficult one though. More deluxes. Dark Steel. Ugh. Revenge of the Fallen Ravage. I remember going to Toys R Us in Green Bay like a million times and always seeing him and Mudflap there forever. And I ended up being the one who bought them. <laughs> Another Bumblebee repaint from Walmart. This is some of the Fall of Cybertron stuff. Oh, man. These got wet. Somehow. Anyways, there's Ultra Magnus. That's not how he looked in the game, because Hasbro's a bunch of fucking lazy asses. So we got a uh, Sideswipe. This box condition's fine. Again... This is not how Air Raid looked in the games because Hasbro's a fucking lazy ass. Got another mud flap. Looks like we got Sergeant Cup from Generations. Oh, here we go. Some of the Hunt for the Decepticon stuff. There's Terror Dive. My mom got me that one. Here we go. I got some good stuff down here. There's uh, the Generations Wheeljack. The uh, Captain America Transformer. Very proud of that one. Dark Laboon, Voyager, Optimus. I think, what the hell is this? A Yoda Transformer. We got some. Where the hell do I have this? Fireburst Optimus Prime of Legends. We got Cliff Jumper, the War for Cybertron repaint of Bumblebee. Tomahawk from Hunt for the Decepticons. How about is that the Guns Deluxe Ironhide? That one's cool looking. Oh, is that one falling apart too? Oh, no, it's not. Okay. <laughs> oh, shit. You gotta be fucking kidding me. These got wet. Huh. That's not good. Anyways, we got a Battle Droid Transformer. Okay, this just bent a little bit. Okay, this is like my first one. 
in this collection. This is like one of my favorite Transformers ever. And it's all bent up. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Oh no. That's not good. Shit. That angers me. Oh, it's not too terrible, but still there. Oh, we have a thousand of these fucking little legends guys in here. Okay, this is not brand new. I put this back in the box because I fucked it all up. It took its gun off and replaced it. Replaced a bunch of the windows on here, but that's the Revenge of the Fallen Bumblebee. Look at this! Bunch of my RPMs got all bent up and shit. That is disappointing. Oh no, 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 no. Is this one fucked up too? I think this one's okay. This is the animated swoop. I think that one's alright. I think we're good. Saved one of them. Alright. More of these bent ass RPMs. There's a barricade. That first one was Jolt. First one here, that's Jolt. Hell is this? We got a Bumblebee and a fucking uh, Mixmaster. Another Legends here, what is that? Oh, bent ass Megatron, that's what that is. Got a bulkhead repaint, another bulkhead repaint remold. We got Iron Hide. We got the actual bulkhead. Man, these things came with DVDs. Got a Legend Star Scream. And that's the end of the little ones, it, it looks like. Pretty sure I have more than that somewhere. Okay. Anyways, this is a GoBots lunch pail. It's got all my GoBots in it. I got Puzzler. I got the main six, even though some of them are kind of busted up. So I don't want to cry about that right now. I got this shit to deal with. What the hell is this? Crankcase with the Destrons from Combiner Core, Power Core Combiners. Looks like this one survived, I think. The Beast Machine's Black Arachnia. Alright. And here we got this gift set of Star Wars, Clone Wars stuff, which went with this gift set of Dark of the Moon Cyberverse toys. Those are cool. The rest of this shit is just Lego Star Wars. I got this Millennium Falcon that it's not to scale with the minifigures. Then I got this old ass Episode 1. Uh, what the hell is this? Republic Cruiser. That's what that is. Barely fits in this box. Alright, that's it for that one. Oh, this one's all full of junk, too. This is the one that's got all the third party knockoffs in it, I think. We got a Cybertron Hotshot knockoff. I think I have two of these. Right, here's the other one, different color. X-Bots. These are cars that transform into cars. I have a hundred of these things too from Family Dollar. Okay, so at this point, a truck with a bunch of people showed up uh, right in, like right across from me, uh, getting into their storage unit. And uh, what made it even more awkward is that I'm pretty sure one of them was a hot chick. So this was a really awkward moment for me. So I'm just gonna kind of talk over uh, what I'm showing off here. So that was like a, a ratchet from the 2007 movie mold. Uh, that I just showed there and then that right there these are a couple of other knockoffs from Family Dollar that I got years ago and these are actually from an old video of mine too uh, there's a what are those bot shots that's jazz there's a bumblebee I probably got those from Family Dollar too I'm pretty sure uh, we got more of these uh, knockoffs I don't know what those are knockoffs of those are just some generic looking jet guys Yep, there, oh, I forget the name of that, but that's a that's definitely knockoff of one of the old Takara G ones. Yeah, there's a, there's a motorcycle one. There's another Ratchet, and uh, Bonsai Tron, I think is the name of that one. Drum Hunt for the Decepticons. Yeah, oh, there's a whole pile of those things. Yeah, that's a Transformer Cybertron mold, I believe. And what is that? Another jet guy. Another one of those, but it's a different color. Okay, so my iPad, my my iPad is dead. So I'm just gonna 
use my phone from at, at, uh, from this point on. So these 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 are uh, these are called Morphobots. They're like not, they're they're straight up knockoffs from Family Dollar. But I collect knockoffs usually whenever I can. Like look, this is from Transformer Cybertron. This one. These are like some vehicles from Transformers Prime. And uh, this is the Wheeljack one. They call it the Star Hammer. I think it was called the Jack Hammer in the show. So I don't know why they changed the name. Here we got some transforming robot things that are not Transformers. <laughs> I, got, I got two of these. These are from Dollar General, I think. Let me put those back where they were. Oh, I got another one of these car things. I got some stickers. I got Masterpiece uh, Rodimus Prime. This is probably like, well, this isn't just out Rodimus Prime. This is straight up Hot Rod. But I think this mold was used for a Rodimus Prime by Takara at some point. So I don't know. Anyways, this is one of my like favorite things in my collection. Because this is a, little, it's a masterpiece and it looks so cool. Except when I bought it. The tape up here was already kind of snapped, or, or, or you know, cut. But it's still, it's still new, still good condition, and I still like it. Okay, so we got a knockoff Devastator. <laughs> we got some. Uh, these actually combine. You can see what they do. It's like it takes two vehicles to make one robot. Those are kind of cool. The quick change robot system, changeable robots, transforming system, whatever you want to call it. We got some insect robots. Whoops. Yeah, they all transform. I think these are dinosaurs right here. Yeah, we got some. What the hell? Excuse me. Yeah, we got some dino robots. What do they call these? Yeah, dino robots. That's what they call them. Those all transform, and they're actually like really, really shitty toys. <laughs> but I still liked them for the collection, I guess. And a Dark of the Moon Voyager. What is that? It's Megatron. That's what that is. Okay. What the hell? Oh, we got another Morphobot. That's the lion one. What is this? Another lion one. I mean, that's actually the Leo Breaker mold. Legends class mold. This is the other one. Yeah. The knockout pack. Here we got the first edition Transformers Prime Bumblebee Blaster because Toys R Us had it and I wanted a first edition toy. So there you go. This is old. I got this way back in 2007 probably. The Radio Shack <laughs> exclusive uh, Starscream that I just never opened. Seems to be it for this box. Alright, so next box has some good ass shit in it too. So this is the Voyager Sentinel Prime from Dark of the Moon. Got some more Dark of the Moon shit. This is some of the special Cyberverse stuff. This is like the Ratchet on the moon. But he didn't look like that in the movie when he was on the moon, so. Okay, so there's a Megatron. You can see where I took the price tag off because I never keep those on. There's the Shockwave with what appears to be that drill thing from the movie, but it looks nothing like it. And here we got some Human Alliance stuff. So this is the Revenge of the Fallen repaint that they use for Dark of the Moon. And that is the Bumblebee with Sam Witwicky. And, uh... This is the Skids. Looks like that box got a little bit bulky out there. And this, yeah, this is Skids with uh, Elite of One. The Human Alliance version. Cool, cool, cool. I think this is Top... Not Top Spin. Roadbuster here. This is the Roadbuster Human Alliance with Sergeant Recon. And I think it comes with... Oh, that's it. It was uh, the other guy that came with the dog. <laughs> but yeah, this is the... Yeah, you know, you know what this is. I just told you. Yeah, cool stuff. Cool, cool, cool stuff. Here we got the Darth Vader to Star Destroyer. It also turns into Republic... Uh, uh, Repu uh, Jedi Cruiser is what this thing's called. And it's also Anakin, so it's got the four different modes. This thing's freaking sweet. All right, whatever. Here we got our first leader class. That is the Ironhide. I believe I have all the leader classes from Dark of the Moon. 
brand new. So what, what the hell do you do here? I think you, I think you're supposed to take this shit down somewhere. Oh, you press the button maybe. Oh, here we go. And it does that. Okay, whatever. Yeah, I think you're supposed to make noise, but it doesn't appear to be doing so. <laughs> here we got the leader star screen from Hunt for the Decepticons. You got two quotes. Yep, that's that. This one's freaking sweet. I think they used this mold for the masterpiece line at some point, along with the Battle Ops Bumblebee. Speaking of that, here is the Dark of the Moon Leader Bumblebee with an extra little deluxe star stream in there. I never got one of these opened and I really wanted to because this toy looks really good. So, only at Walmart. That's that. And this box looks like we got four Voyagers left. So we got the Fall of Cybertron Grimlock. Fall of Cybertron Sound Blaster. And he did not appear in there. Hasbro was just a bunch of lazy asses and repa uh, repainted the shit out of their uh, fucking sound wave mold. So here's the actual sound wave. That actually did appear in the game. Again, lazy asses at Hasbro. Repaint slash remold into this, which is actually kind of cool. But he didn't appear in the game. Can't make fucking toys that are in the game. So let's repaint the shit out of everything we already made. That's Hasbro. Got another box full of junk. Looks, oh fuck, there's, <laughs> there's more of these little legends. So there's an Optimus. We got the beloved Mirage from Dark of the Moon that never got a toy until it got a thousand toys. We got a Soundwave repaint from uh, the Dark of the Moon mold, but released under the Prime line, but it doesn't even say Prime, but it's got the Prime characters. I don't know what the fuck they were doing there. Here we got a Devastator. This is actually the Sakaar version put back into the Hasbro version's box because which arm is it? I think it's this arm that got busted and so I put it back in that package and it actually looks great like this too I think actually I put some of the fucking ties back on it too so it looks new <laughs> doesn't it? that looks quite great this one is actually brand new this is the G1 version from Toys R Us I think I dropped this box like a billion times it's got a whole bunch of cracks on this corner. It actually ain't too bad now that I look at it, but that's from the Hunt for the Decepticons line. Here we got a Robot Heroes Sideswipe with a puzzle. I have another one of those somewhere around here. Oh, I have another Optimus because this one didn't come with a sword, so it was different enough for me to buy. Same with the Starscream. This one actually comes with weapons, and I got another Starscream somewhere. Here we got the Dark of the Moon Deluxe Optimus with the trailer. We got a Soundwave box, which is just empty. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> this is already opened, but it does have the toy in it, I think. I put everything back in there just to kind of look cool and store it like that. This has also been opened, but this is the Pepsi Optimus. I just put everything back in the box because I wanted to feel like it was new. Here we got an Optimus puzzle. And what is this? Oh shit, here we go. The Voyager uh, bulkhead from first edition Transformers Prime. They packaged this like it was a masterpiece. Like, look, here's a masterpiece, Thundercracker. That, very similar. No wonder why they got rid of these things for the shittier ones, because they had no budget to go. Or to use. Where the fuck am I gonna put all this shit? I got more G1s that have been opened but put back in the package. And more Cyberverse. Here's Evac, the guy from Universal Ride or whatever the fuck. Who is this? This is a breakdown. Put all that back in there before I forget about it. I think this is Blitzwing. They call him Destron on the box. I know that's like the Japanese version of Decepticon or whatever the hell, but. That's definitely Blitzwing. He's been opened. These are all these G1s have been opened except for the new Walmart ones. And if I could just please grab this. We got Dirge. Definitely been opened. And I put him back in there, I think. Yep, there he is. And uh smoke screen. We got that guy. He's in there. Yep. I think these are all from Toys R Us. From back in the day. 
And these are all in the box. Uh, all right, I'll put them back. So there's the Skylinks. I already told you guys, none of these G1s are brand new that I'm showing you right now. We got Metroplex. Probably put all the stickers on them and everything. Like, they're all just opened up already. And Omega Supreme. Yep, he's in there too. I can hear the parts. He's in one of my older videos. One of my stop motions from a long time ago. And okay, now we're getting into some kind of newer stuff. A little bit. This is like 2015 era. We got the Grimlock G1 repaint. We got this uh, Combiner Wars Megatron. What? Some more Star Wars shit. Kylo Ren and the fucking bullshit bitch. Oh, we got an Arno Eagle Vision version. Eagle Vision version. We got a Pez Optimus. Okay. What is that? Oh, this is from Botcon. This is, uh, what is this? Crosswise. That's a cool one. We got a Leader Star Screen. Some more little guys. Uh, Mega Blocks. Master Chief. Some Q Transformers. That looks, uh, that's Megatron. I think we got an Optimus here, too. Uh, what else is there? I think, uh, oh, this is a... This is a Legends Grimlock. And we have a cliff jumper that came apart. Guess we gotta glue that back on at some point. We got a Superman. Uh, that's fucking weird. All right. We got an Armada Star Saber. Ah, oh, dust. Looks like we got a Batman. What is that? Okay. We got an Ultra Magnus. It's so weird looking at this one and looking at the new one that just came out. What is that? Okay, leader jet fire, and they're coming out with another jet fire again. The commander class, even though it's not the traditional commander. I don't know why the hell I have this. The fucking Shark Decon Megatron. Alright. This one right here, I believe my grandpa got me. This was for Christmas or my birthday, something like that. It's the Beastfire Predaking. I think it was supposed to be some sort of like Supreme class, but they didn't call it any kind of class. Now to some interesting stuff. This is the, uh, what the hell is this? It's a Target exclusive Bumblebee repaint. It's literally the regular Bumblebee with some blue highlights, but you see that? You see that autograph? Yeah, that's Stan Bush. I met him at uh, the 2016 BotCon, the very last BotCon, and so I Pulled something out of my bag, asked for an autograph, got a picture, bought a shirt from him, and I lost the shirt. So I guess that's that. Find a place to put that thing. Here we got Alternator's Optimus Prime. I got this, a lot of this stuff is from BotCon 2015 and 16, I think. So I just, I, I really wanted this guy because he's fucking awesome. We got Alternity Bumblebee. What do they call this one? Bumble or something? Yeah, they call him Bumble. But it's basically like an alternator's bumblebee kind of thing. Reminds me of the masterpiece one too. Here we got what the hell is this? Titans Return Alpha Trion because Alpha Trion is a lion for sure. We got a Dorbs Altair, I think. Yeah, it's Altair. I don't have any fucking room. We got the Chibi collection of Godzillas. I've had this for years. It's got dust all over it. And guess what? Bandai's fucking re-releasing again. <laughs> can't, can't make anything new. We have to re-release everything. Okay, we got some tight. What the fuck? Titanium series Star Wars shit from when Star Wars 7 first came out. Oh, we got a tank or kids meal one. Got a couple of Transformers puzzles from Age of Extinction. Oh, this dust. Breathing it right in. Okay. Last leader class from Dark of the Moon. Sentinel Prime. There. Awesome. Great. So now that I put that back in there, I gotta dig this shit out. Ah. We got the Pop Godzilla. 
One of the very first things I ordered off the internet by myself. Right off a of big bad toy store. And we got this shitty piece of shit from Age of Extinction with the fucking stupid repaints. Repaints, repaints, repaints. Everywhere. Beast Machines Supreme Cheetor. I think it's got a loose thing up by its head, so it's kind of fucked up, but... Oh, God. He's still cool. He's still new in the box. That is from BotCon 2015. The first one I went to. First one that my mom awesomely took me to. Took me to two of them damn things in a row. Now, I'm pretty sure I have, like, two more bins somewhere in here. I don't know where the hell they are. I don't know if I'm going to find them. From what I remember, they didn't really have that much good shit in there. <sighs> but I do have this one here. So we got a Titanium Series Obi-Wan. I really, I was really into the Titanium stuff back in the day, so that's why I bought this, and I love Obi-Wan. I bought this before I saw the movie. That's why I have it. He had a hood. I like hoods. And it's Luke. Same thing with Obi-Wan. Obi-Wan's cool. Okay, let's go up there. Now we got... All the last night shit. This is the worst fucking Transformer ever made. Maybe not mold wise, but the fact that they released this fucking thing. This is the Age of Extinction mold. Released under the last night with basically no fucking paint on it. It's the wrong robot mode and the wrong vehicle mode. Like, that, that is not the same Bumblebee as that. Has, Hasbro and their fucking repaints. Oh, yeah, let's release this repaint of Slash. He's not in the movie, or he or she, not in the movie. And then we got fucking... The fuck is that? Berserker. He, he's in the movie for a second. Second and a half. There we got the actual Berserker. I have, uh... Wave 1 and 2 of all the Last Night guys here. All, I mean, all of, at least the Deluxes. We got the Drift. I got this fucker. Uh... Got Barricade. Steel Bane. Slug, one of the only two Dinobots in the movie. I got Optimus and Hot Rod. I don't know what the fuck I have Optimus. I got this Optimus uh, ornament for my dad. I got this shitty ass slash. I think the only reason I have these damn things is because they these were on sale for four dollars, and the Voyagers. We're on sale for seven. Speaking of that, I don't know where the hell my Voyagers are. <laughs> oh no. Well, I got this Soundwave uh, ornament too. This shitty ass two pack from the last night. A BBA ornament. And this weird bus thing from Wish.com. I thought it looked kind of cool and it reminded me of the old RID Optimus, so I bought it and got it. There we go. Then we got a leader sound wave. I've also got the giant size Godzilla in this bag right here. I thought I'd show that, but I'm not gonna open it, so there it is. Okay, so I found one more box, but I don't think this is what I'm looking for. Anyways, we got some stupid ass combiners. Got some more of them. Let me fix this. This is at a dumbass angle. More of these things. More of these things. I think these were just all cheap and they were kind of just given to me by people. Same with this. I don't a one step changer from fucking last night. Alright, so I got a Carnotaurus. Triceratops from Jurassic World. I mean, that's all it says is Jurassic World, not Fallen Kingdom, because nobody cares about movie titles anymore. Oh, you fucking bitch! I just dropped the shit out of this thing. Not good. Okay, one step barricade from last night. Probably can't see that because of my shit ass lighting. Let's see, okay, we got Movie Monster Shin Godzilla and both of the other versions. We could, I already showed these in a previous video. And we got the Godzilla Earth. 
Or is it the kid version? What do they call that? Phileas. Oh, whatever the fuck that means. That's what that thing is. And then there's the Servum because they played such a big role in the movie, they needed their own movie monster toy. And we got one of these cheap things. One of those cheap things. Got a Rick because he was one of the last Walking Dead toys at Toys R Us, as are these Assassin's Creed toys. These were like the last couple of things left at the store. Got an Eevee as well. And this is one of the coolest ones here. This is the uh, Monster King Godzilla Phileas Earth, whatever the fuck, 2017. Cool, cool, cool. Something's off about this thing though. Oh, oh, I don't know. Hmm. Shitty dicks. I got nowhere to put these things. Alright, onto the Kong Skull Island bullshit. There's the fucking spider that was kind of in the movie. This pterodactyl squid thing that just was not in the movie. Like, not that version. And then there's the skull crawler, who definitely was. Holy crap, I'm just gonna hold everything. Okay, we got the Indoraptor, woohoo! We got, we got the uh, T-Rex, woohoo! We got some Halo shit, the Master Chief, another Master Chief. Ah! We got Claire with the ball because I got that on sale, I think, or on a deal at Target. Same thing with the raptor and the dude. I got another raptor and a pachycephalosaurus. Now I gotta pull this shit back. And the stegosaurus. So I couldn't find everything in there, but I think that might mean that I didn't bring everything there. Like, I got like two more bins in a box with four of the um, Last Night Voyagers in it, and uh, should be Megatron, Optimus, Grim, no not Grim, like Megatron, Optimus, Hound, no I think I got, what the fuck, no not Megatron, I have Optimus, Nitro, Hound, and fucking Scorn, that's what it is. Um, I have no idea where those are. I think they might be at my house or they're buried somewhere in that thing even though I looked everywhere in there. So, let me see if I can find them in my house. If not, I guess I'll just post pictures of what I'm talking about. The other bins have like some Godzilla 1998 stuff in there and like some other Jurassic World stuff. So I'll see if I can find them. Okay, so I found them in my basement. This box has a Titan's Return Perceptor Got the uh, Last Night Optimus, Last Night Nitro, Last Night Scorn, which is basically the best toy that came out of this whole line, even though he wasn't even in the movie, and Hound. So I'm still missing like an entire bin or two. I don't know if I'm even going to put that in the video because I have no fucking clue where those things are. So, yeah. Okay, so I found them at my house. Everything I was missing. So we got this knockoff Devastator. This is kind of cool because it's like small. I found it at the mystery spot up in the UP, if you know where, what that is. It gives you instructions for all the robot modes and everything, but you can clearly tell these only change into vehicle mode. There's no robot modes for these things. <laughs> Which is weird because they come with guns and shit, so whatever. We got some more knockoffs. I don't know what toy that's a knockoff of, but it, there's another one in here that is from the same line and it is a knockoff so i assume that one is too so here's the transformers prime rumble he did not appear in the show we got the thir 30th anniversary uh fucking dreadwing these cool things i don't even know what these are based on these are just random ass mini cons that they decided to make um i'm out of starscream here's all the other jurassic world shit i was talking about these repaints another repaint and there's Velociraptor Blue. And Gold Bug, renamed Goldfire. And Transformers 2007 Bumblebee. This one is brand new. I got it off of eBay probably a couple years ago. And this right here, I believe, is like a 
Dirt Boss knockoff from fucking Transformer Cybertron or something? Maybe? I might be thinking of that because it's the same color. I, I'm pretty sure it's a Transformers mold. And then I got these Ninja Turtles who transform into turtles because I won it off of a contest from Sports Wolf 3, the YouTuber who is also known as Fast Food Toy Reviews. And he's a cool dude. So those are hanging here. I had them hanging up on my wall for a while. And just like everything, I put it in storage. And the last one has a mixture of things. So this here is like a plushy, bendable Godzilla 98, or Zilla. Here's the King Caesar I was talking about. This was the first release of this. That's why I didn't buy a, uh, you know, one of the Walmart ones. Uh, because this one says the 16th anniversary down there, and Walmart version doesn't. I did buy a Walmart one just so I could open it, and I included it in one of my videos. I think it was the uh, Shrekthorn one. Anyways, this is one of the McDonald's boxes. This is where some of the sweet stuff is. Again, we got first edition Starscream, first edition Bumblebee, uh, first edition Cliff Jumper. I do have the zombie version of this too, but it, I opened it because the box was all screwed up. I believe it came in the regular box like that, but somebody put the zombie version inside of it. And I found it at Toys R Us and I bought it. Got RC, I don't have any of these open. This looks like a good mold. Damn it. I think the rest of these are all the fall of Cybertron, even though these are, this is just a repaint of Bruticus. The Ruined Nation set, which is the Wreckers, they all combined to form that piece of shit right there. So this is all five of them right here. You got, what the hell is that? Roadbuster, fucking Whirl, uh, Twin Twist, Top Spin, I believe this is, yep. And the Leader Impact Ore. That's the last one. That's everything. Uh, there's a couple of Lego sets I didn't show you in the storage room because those were uh, in garbage bags and I didn't want to open it up. I think one of them was one of the old sand crawlers. I showed you the Republic clu uh, Cruiser. I believe the sand crawler might have been it. So yeah, that's everything. I showed you guys everything. All my brand new stuff. That's it. So I hope you enjoyed. I definitely did not have fun going through this shit, so I, I really do hope you enjoyed. So yeah, see you later.